This is the third video in our six video series on tips for fitting Widex Moment. And in this video, we will focus on the sensogram. And the sensogram is our in situ measurement in the uh, Compass GPS fitting section. In moment hearing aids, it's even more important to do the sensogram because this is one of the building blocks for the true acoustic information that we need for every moment fitting. And it is quick and easy to do a sensogram. It's simply a matter of finding thresholds. And you can see that there are four frequencies that are highlighted ready to test. Um, you can test up to 10 frequencies per ear. Um, and of course, that would give you an even more precise fitting, especially for uh, steeply sloping hearing losses. But if you measure at least these four frequencies, for each ear, that's going to give you a really good foundation for a very precise fitting. So if you for some reason can't measure a sensogram, it could be for a demo for example, then you should avoid just the clicking through the sensogram thresholds here. Just leave them blank because if you click through them without a, a correct measurement, you will mess up the, um, the accuracy of the sensogram. And, um, we also advise that please don't do any fine tuning uh, with the sensogram. We sometimes get questions about why the sensogram thresholds can be so much higher than the audiogram thresholds, especially in the lower frequencies. And there's actually a very good reason why it looks like that. And that is because, as Eva mentioned, the sensogram is measuring in situ thresholds meaning that it's taking into account the ear canal acoustics and the effect of the ear tip, the ear mold, the custom hearing aid that is sitting in that ear canal um, and, and any venting effects from that. So if you have a vent or especially if it's an open fitting, you will get sound escaping through the vent, um, especially in those low frequencies, meaning that the sensogram thresholds are going to be higher to compensate for that venting. So once again, if you see that, um, don't be concerned that it looks funny. Don't try to fine tune that away. That is how it is supposed to be. That's the sensogram measuring what it is supposed to measure. And also another thing that you see here on the screen is a change in the display for GPS 4.0. We are now showing the EAT values and EAT stands for Equivalent Adult Threshold and it is an estimation of the audiometric thresholds taking into account the sensogram thresholds plus the ear canal acoustics that we have measured during the test. Now see here even if the sensogram threshold is uh, 50 here you can see that the EAT value will be closer to the audiometric uh, measured hearing threshold and will be the base for the calculation of gain. And now that we have completed the sensogram for this client, you can see here we have a green check mark next to sensogram. And in fact, you can see we have completed all three steps that we need for true acoustics to calculate um, a very precise fitting. We have our overview completed. That was uh, our acoustic selection. We've completed the feedback test and we have completed the sensogram. So the three main building blocks of true acoustics um, to allow Widex Moment to calculate the most precise fitting for our client.